I've tested just about every speed optimization plugin out there. Free, paid, you name it. While some manage to deliver decent results, they all seem to hit a ceiling at a point. Here's the reality, most plugins only optimize about 50 to 60% of your site. Why? Because they struggle to detect and address unoptimized files buried deep within your site, like images in sliders, preloader scripts, or unused plugin data. Even lazy loading often fails because these plugins lack the server-side analysis required to handle complex optimizations. But don't worry, there's a solution. I have found two free plugins that can do what others can't and help you optimize your site for blazing fast speeds. First up, Lightspeed Cache, which is really good in three key areas. First, it works directly at the server level, delivering faster response times for every visitor. Second, Lightspeed separates public and private content and optimizes only what it can while leaving dynamic content like card totals or user account data untouched. This makes it ideal for e-commerce sites where functionality is just as crucial as speed. Finally, Lightspeed automatically cleans up junk data such as old post revisions and unused database tables. This frees up space and speeds up database queries, making your entire site more responsive. Later in this walkthrough, I'll also show you another free plugin, Airlift, that fills the gaps Lightspeed can leave. It's perfect for handling deeply embedded images and real-time data. But first, let's set up Lightspeed Cache and get the basics in place. All right, before we start, let's do a quick paid speed test. I'll paste my site URL here and click Analyze. And it's not looking good. We have ranked badly on both mobile and desktop. Now that we know our score, let's fix it. Start by heading to your WordPress dashboard and look for Lightspeed Cache in the Plugins Library. Once it appears, click Install Now and then Activate. You'll notice a new Lightspeed Cache icon in the left-hand menu. Click it to open the Lightspeed Dashboard. Right now, the dashboard might look empty. That's because nothing is configured yet. Let's fix that by enabling server-level caching, the foundation of Lightspeed's optimization. First, enable cache as this activates caching for your entire site. Next, enable cache logged in users. This is essential if your site has members or subscribers as it allows pages to load faster even for logged in users. Finally, turn on mobile cache. This serves optimized cache copies to mobile visitors, making their load times faster as well. After enabling these, scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. With these settings activated, Lightspeed will begin caching your pages at a server level. Next, we'll set up Lightspeed's Edge Side Includes feature to handle public and private content separately for e-commerce or membership sites. Look for the ESI tab and turn on the Enable ESI option. You'll also see toggles for specific elements like the cache admin bar and the cache comment form. Turn these on if you've got these elements on your site, but leave everything else at its default setting. Once you've made these changes, click Save Changes. What this does is allow Lightspeed to cache static content while not touching the dynamic content like user-specific data. The final fix we'll tackle is database cleanup. This step removes unnecessary junk like post revisions and unused database tables, speeding up database queries and making your site more responsive. To do this, go to the Lightspeed Cache menu and click on Database. You'll see a list of cleanup options including Clean all post revisions. This removes old post drafts and revisions that are no longer needed. Clean all expired transients. This deletes temporary data left behind by the plugins or themes. This optimizes your database tables for faster queries. Select each option and click Optimize. While Lightspeed is powerful, it does have its limitations. It struggles with images buried in HTML codes or JavaScript libraries like GSAP and handling real-time e-commerce data can become a bottleneck. But there is a fix that I use for all my sites, Airlift. It's free and it's built by the same team behind Malcare and BlogVault, so you can be sure it's completely safe to use. 
And unlike traditional speed plugins that require constant setting up, Airlift is set it and forget it solution that automatically optimizes your site anytime something changes. Once you've set it up, it works quietly in the background so you don't have to lift a finger to keep your site fast, responsive and user-friendly. First, open a new tab and look for www.airlift.net. Here's the website and we'll download the plugin from here. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and upload the plugin to your WordPress website. After it's installed and activated, it'll start analyzing your site. Okay, here's our site's initial score. The rest of the optimization is still running in the background, so let's fast forward a few minutes. Once it's done, you'll see that our overall site score has improved. It also runs 50 plus other optimizations in the backend that automatically convert massive images to WebP and minifies JavaScript and CSS files. While other plugins focus just on IMG tags, Airlift goes deeper. It scans your entire site for images, whether they are embedded in CSS, JavaScript or HTML elements like sliders and widgets. It optimizes those images for size and quality delivering them responsibly based on the user's device. Your mobile visitors get lightweight images that load quickly, while desktop users enjoy high-quality images without the slowdowns. This brings down your page size to 1 MB, ensuring your site loads in a snap. Finally, it also ensures that the most important elements like text, images and essential content are loaded first. Non-essential elements like scripts or analytics are deferred to load in the background. This means your visitors see your core content almost instantly. If you add a new content, update your plugins or change your theme, Airlift automatically optimizes your site to ensure it stays fast and functional. While all the fixes applied, it's time to test our site again. Head back to the Google PageSpeed Insights. In my case, score is near a perfect 100. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll answer them.